last night we were told that police had a person of interest that they are questioning today. We were told they had a suspect in custody and tonight we got a first look at the accused killer. Hey, Sal, why did you do that, Sal? Salvatore Perone said nothing as detectives led him from the 67th precinct in Brooklyn tonight. NYPD homicide detectives today arrested Salvatore Perone of Staten Island in the shooting deaths of three Brooklyn merchants after he made statements implicating himself and after the 22 caliber rifle he used in the slayings was recovered from his duffel bag at the subject's girlfriend's apartment. Perone was caught on surveillance camera carrying the same black duffel bag near the latest shooting Friday night in Flatbush, hence the name John Doe duffel bag. All three victims, Brooklyn shopkeepers of Middle Eastern descent who were alone and closing their stores at the time, were shot at point blank range. One also stabbed. The stores were within four miles of each other. They also recovered a box of 22 caliber long rifle ammunition, an empty magazine, and a 12-inch kitchen knife with dried blood on it. His M.O. is still unclear, but police and witnesses say Perone was trying to sell women's clothing at the various locations, mostly small boutiques and 99-cent stores. Perone lived in this home at the corner of Clove Road and Beverly Avenue in the Silver Lake section of Staten Island. The yard overgrown with weeds for sale signs out front. We call the number. You have reached the voicemail box of... So what do it Anne Marie Gibbs and her daughter Ashley live up the street from Perone. They say they've seen him carrying a black duffel bag before, along with women's clothing. We've seen him carry that yeah. duffel bag around. Yeah, I've seen. I've seen, I've seen him. I've seen him walk from up the block all the way down the street uh, with the big black duffel bag, and then he would just go and he would unlock the gate, and then he would just go into that house. Uh, police say that Perone may have been intending to strike again a fourth location, but was scared off by customers. Now, at this point, he is facing three counts of murder, three counts of criminal possession of a weapon. Police say that he could be arraigned, if not tonight, then within the next 24 hours. And by the way, a final footnote, police say he was to turn 64 tomorrow.